Blog Talk Radio. Hello, and it's season finale week. I'm very excited here on the TiVo Mike Show. Today we're discussing a financial testimony of a young couple who paid off all of their debt, including their home. And they're only 24. We speak about the celebrities and their earning power in their new year. Also, let's find out what's going on with Netflix spending $8 billion outspending NBC, ABC, CBS combined for new content in 2018. It's all coming up next on the TiVo Mike Show. I'm so excited. I am Tiva Mike, your host. And I'm entertainment guru, Mike Warner. Thank you for joining the Saints. We're so glad you're here. We are glad you're here. It's time to kick it off. It's Money Monday. That's right. That is right. So here's the thing, people. Netflix is outspending the ABC, CBS, and NBC, NBC, Fox combined in one season, TV season, of $8.1 billion. That's just a little more than we spend here at Righteous Road Studios on oh, our new just, content. Just a little more. It's a little more. Um, <laughs> by like, you know, we <laughs> well, don't, we don't really need to give you the numbers. We're not that transparent yet. But we're letting you know it's a little bit more than what we spend. What do you think of that? They're outspending them. What does that say? It shows. So here's how I always look at TV, right? When I look at um, the networks, right. you know me. I'm biased. Oh, yes. I watch live TV. Yes, you do. So, <laughs> when I look at ABC, ABC, a.k.a. Disney Television, right. is cheap. Yeah, they are. They don't want to pay too much, but they want <laughs> great content. So, when right. the show starts to get too good, you can tell when it's like, uh, maybe we're going to look to see what else is out there. <laughs> exactly. So, and it's not bad, but you can tell they don't pay a lot. Right. Um, when, you, when I do um, NBC... NBC is starting to spend more money. I noticed that. Because you see things they like are. This Is Us oh, or The that. One Chicago's. Yes. Like they, you can see there's money. The special effects have real special effects. Yeah. It's not <laughs> like <explosions>. timeless. <laughs> Don't even mention the show name that shall not be named. Yeah, I noticed it with that uh, b- blacklist. I, it yes. was a silly show, I thought, and then I watched the beginning, uh, every episode the before they do the credits, oh, they do a yes. theme, yes. it's always like a movie. I'm like, that was a real explosion. People really died. And then they do that now, like you see with the crossovers, when they right. do the explosions and uh, the scenes, even the fire, the Chicago right. fire, like the, the fire <laughs> scenes see? are something out of a movie. So you can tell they're, starting, crazy. they're starting to find... I guess it's like research, right? So they do so right. many years of the same style. Exactly. The same format. Right. And they're like, all right, well, they like the format. They like the story, but they don't like the visual. Right. So now they're like, okay, so now <laughs> right. let's throw some more money in the yeah. visual. Because they have to now compete with all the other shows that only and have eight episodes. They <laughs> so I've been noticing. Like this is Us. Like, and even This Is Us. This doesn't have a whole lot of special effects. No. But the content... And the raw well, humanity of right. it. Right. Well, even the special effects are more subtle, like yes. the aging of the mom. Yeah. Who's the youngest cast member? Thank you. But because she's a female, <laughs> they make her old. That's uh, that's harassment. <laughs> um, shock. That's allowed in the Me Too era. But oh well, you know. It's. But you're right. I noticed the production value is more extreme. Yeah. So extreme. you're seeing it, and as the more you see it, or the more it happens, you notice. So like CBS. Right. CBS is like the middle, right? Because they have some shows they spend some money on. Yeah. And they have That's some true. that they let go. <laughs> yeah, they do. And the ones they spend money on is not done correctly. Right. Because it's all the reboots. 
Thank like, you. Why do we need Magnum P.I.? <clears throat> no, no one needs Magnum P.I. There's isn't reason shows off Isn't Tom Selleck still alive? He's still alive. Why didn't he be the one coming back right. as the boss? Like, yeah, he could be. He could still be a private investigator. Yeah, so... If you don't age out of that. Exactly. I mean, unless you have a cane, you know, then you're just slow at the investigation. Well, he could be the chief. So now he's the one yeah, running it. he's the butler guy. Exactly. Yes. But he's not even included. Or no. Hawaii Five-0. He's on that 5-0. other show. He's on that other Blue Bloods. Blue yeah. Bloods. Yeah. But you get Hawaii Five-0. <coughs> another... I don't know why we needed that back. Like, no, thank you. So we'll book them, Dano. Like, okay, yeah, like, we booked them. It's done, Dano. And whose name is Dano? There's only so much. It's like a bad rapper name. Yeah. And and the stuff they do good, the comedy they do good on, they do go, do well on it. Because right. I like the Odd Couple with Matthew oh, Perry oh, and yeah, the other I really guy. That one. Um, I loved. But that got canceled. I think, man right? with a uh, man with a plan was right. that Joey yeah. Le, uh, yeah. Joey Joey Tribbiani. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joey uh, LeBlanc. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Sorry. It's all right. He's like, I've done other acting. Things. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I just love you as Joey. And he did two failed movies. I mean, so he is still an actor out yeah. there. Oh, yeah. But that's the thing. They they really are having to compete with these other platforms. Not only that, Netflix being as big as it is. Right. First off, it's ridiculous. I think I pay fourteen, eleven ninety nine a month or thirteen ninety nine a month. I don't know what I pay. Wow. It's not that much. <laughs> To get all the content that I'm getting. Right. Right. And then they're coming out with new shows. Like, when you have an actor, I know people don't think he's a fantastic actor. Right. But when you have an actor like Jason Bateman. Right. And Laura, I think it's Laura Dern is his co-star. Oh, Laura Dern is awesome. But when you have... I'll see any movie she does. Let me find out. I think that's her name. I think that's the woman who plays his wife in the Ozarks. Okay. And really? when you have the two of them in a... In a setting of uh, a TV series, right. 13 episodes. Oh, that's good. They probably did more than eight. But it's like two big-name celebrities, like like celebrities. <laughs> you have tied to this. Yeah, those are – and she's an Oscar-nominated uh, actress. Uh, he's uh, he's still underrated. I don't know why people don't give him a chance. Because we, we we know why he, we know why people don't give him a chance. Because he's vanilla, <laughs> and it's not yeah, bad. He, but yeah. he's he can work in That's any true. role. He can right. be in horrible bosses and be hilarious. He could be in so about not about a boy. What's the one with the uh, Jennifer Aniston, and he likes her. The change oh. up. No, no, that's not the change. But the change up again with Ryan Reynolds that when they switched places. Oh, that was good. Um, talk on it. You know the movie talk where he know. loved her all these years. And he never t- said anything. Yes, and then she had the baby because he swapped out. So stupid. That so, whole bathroom scene. But anyway. Yes, come yeah. on. That was a funny thing. <laughs> glory to the glory. <laughs> Unbelievable. So he just. Oh, I'm sorry. Laura Linney is his is his oh, girlfriend. Laura is his wife in that. Yeah, sorry. But I mean, even I was then, say Laura a, Dern. That's even then, she's a big name. Big like Laura Linney's been around for years. To, that's true. To to tie her in, so, you know who's doing it? Do not mention an actress and say tie her in. This oh, are you not catching anything from the Me Too era? Yeah, it had no standing. That's why no one went to court, and that's why it's, you don't hear it anymore. That's right. No more. <laughs> but, tired. We are so sorry, Laura Linney. <laughs> to have her included, but right. that's what ne- that's what NBC's starting to do. So Chicago names? PD, right? Guess who's joining? Oh Lord, the twenty first precinct. Julia Roberts and Hate. Ugh. So you might think, uh, but yeah. this is NBC showing they're spending money. That's true. Because Ann Hate yeah. hasn't done a lot, and when she does do stuff, I know she's got a hefty price tag because yeah, she, she doesn't does. do anything so. <laughs> at all. Yeah, I mean, she's still collecting that, you know, uh, Ellen money. So you know, that's ridiculous. <laughs> But it's true. They have to step up their game. But I would, you know, and that, that's a good segue because when we come back, we're going to talk about celebrity salaries. And I think the problem, though, with them thinking the way to compete is the big name is that's not the way to go. The way to compete is with awesome content. But the so money, the shows. Be willing to spend, not the name, yeah. Yeah, spend the money spend on the money, name, but spend, spend money, money on, on the, the right show. production like, part. Yeah, the production, yeah. the crew, the shots, the filming on location as opposed to in a small lot in the studio for the grandness of nature and take it all in and all yes. that dumb stuff. Uh, just don't throw it at some person who says she was a lesbian and then she's not and then she broke Ellen's heart and now Ellen had to go with this new chicken, uh, chickadee actress who can't do any show successfully. So Ellen's got to pay for her. <laughs> she's a drag to the relationship. 
Oh, I'm way too invested in these people's lives. Yes, you are. But when we come back, we're going to discuss the, the high celebrity salaries of these new upcoming 2018-2019 season. It's all happening in our finale week here on the Mike Show. Isaiah 9-6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us, the root and offspring of David, the Lamb of God, the Good Shepherd, the arm of the Lord, the rock of ages, the cornerstone, the author and finisher of our faith. His name shall be called the first and the last, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega, the creator, the great I am, the holy one, the way, the truth, and the life, the Redeemer, the Savior, my Lord and my God, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, King of kings, the Almighty God. His name is Jesus Christ. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Listen, we back. You can get us anywhere at TivoMike.com. That's T-I-V-O Mike.com. Send us your emails, your questions, your concerns, your money requests yes. um, at hello at TivoMike.com. That's hello at TivoMike.com. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and now Spotify. So you spot a fi us, and we are right there. So if you, if you have any FIs, just spot it. Right? That's probably how that works. I don't know. Maybe. Also on Spreaker, SoundCloud, YouTube, everywhere else <laughs> to find podcasts are found. We are the number one and fastest growing pop culture infused podcast in the nation. So, I really want to ask you this real quick because we mm-hmm. were looking at, you know, we're talking about celebrity salaries. Yes. Because <clears throat> the shows think that if they pay the stars a quadrillion dollars a second, then all of a sudden it'll be viewers. Yes. So, I was at this website, Complex Con. Uh, and they had, like, the top 20, according to them, I guess. Right. As of March uh, 2018. March 2018. The thing I don't understand is this list is, like, 50-50. Like, right. the top 20, there's, I saw, I recognize way more female names than male names. Right. So I don't know what's going on with this. They uh, go, me too. We don't, we don't make anything. But Are they finding out that the liberals have lied? <gasps> because. Well, what it is, it's so funny mentioning it, <laughs> is in general... Uh, when you put all women in the category and all men, yes, it is about 70%. The problem is it's not one for one. So it's but job choice. Yes, right, it's job we already discussed the, it's And the, they said that the men is 80% of the engineering jobs, the scientific jobs, the big labor jobs, and the risky jobs, the people who do that Alaska deadly catch, whatever. Uh, and those positions tend to pay more. Yes. Yeah. Men happen to fill those but positions. That, that's all. Mark Wahlberg proves it. Right. You set your salary. Right. So, yes. Well, uh, that way you set your salary. Michelle, Michelle Williams said whatever. Yeah, says, but I take Hollywood out of the equation. 
it, no one gives a <clears throat> care about Hollywood's equal pay or not. Listen, how do you That's figure out? Because there That's is no way. See, with a job like ours, Mike and I make serious bang people. But it's easy to assess our value. Yeah. Because it's like, well, what did you bring to the bank's $4.2 billion this quarter? Well, you were responsible for, you know, 2.2% of the sales or yeah. whatever. So it can all make sense in the end how the, the job makes the money. And then it comes to TV and movies and these producers and people. There's no way to figure it out because some movies just don't make the money. So what, you don't pay the actor? So if Robert Downey Jr. gets $20 million paycheck for Sherlock Holmes 8 and Sherlock Holmes 8 sells two tickets, does he get his money taken back? Oh, he still did the work. He was there for six months. So it's a hit or miss. The people lead the good example, Titanic, the number one movie for a long time with uh, in terms of income and before Avatar blew it away and before Marvel decided to make films. Um, <laughs> it was number one with over a billion dollars, which is a big deal at the time. Now, yeah, if you right. don't make a billion, you're a failure. So it was a different world. And the star, the dude who died because the girl, the chick, the Me Too movement couldn't move over on the piece of wood to let him up. He died, but he's the movie. Okay, He is the movie. Him and the old chick at the end because she drops a $40 billion diamond, which is an idiotic, stupid thing. She could have had a lot of kids in Africa. But whatever. So she dumps it in the <laughs> ocean. But he, guess what he got paid? A whopping $2 million. Oh, he was able to retire. Two wow. million bucks for a movie that made a billion. Now, is that fair? See, so there's no way in Hollywood. It's just a, you know, you're as good as your last film. So the next movie he did, he banked on Titanic success. And he goes, I I want 20 million bucks. And they gave him 20 million for the beach. Then the beach sucked. I think the whole beach made 20 million. Oh, man. That was but horrible. did that keep him from not making his 20? No, because by the time beach failed, the Titanic was still in theaters. So he said, well, let's do it again. And they go, okay, we'll put you in Romeo and Juliet. That movie made $21 million. He still got $20 million paycheck. So, again, I discount Hollywood out of the mix. Y'all have fun figuring out how to get paid. I don't know how to do that. And if I was a network executive, I wouldn't have to worry about doing that. But when it comes to TV shows, here's what I will tell you. Mm. I would have a max. And ain't no one getting more than $100,000 an episode. <gasps> what? That's I, that's 1990 prices, I know. Yep. And and no one's watching live. And people got all nine before other platforms. These uh, people don't want to pay for advertising as much. Yeah. You're going to get a hundred grand. And if the show is a success, we will talk about a percentage. That way, we win, you win, everyone wins. But I'm not paying you based on it going to make us $8 million a week. And it doesn't, but I'm paying you as such. And then we're at a loss. And now three other good shows that needed a year's time to get picked up, we can't afford to keep it on the air because we're bleeding money. This is true. So let's do the top five celebrity paychecks for 2018. Give me one second. You know, these were the top people. I mean, the salaries are something else. So, but in your own life, which we will talk about uh, a little bit in the next segment, is, yeah, you know, make sure you fight for your your salary, but you know you're not getting one point anything. No, yeah. at your job, so don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, it's easy. Go to salary.com, plug in what you do, and it'll tell you. It'll spit out low, medium, high, and you fight for the high. That's it. Next, but there's but there's not. You can't do actor and go what's low, medium, high because it depends. Exactly. Right. You right, you can't. And shouldn't stage actors get more than movie actors because they're doing eight performances a week? You would, but there is so. no money. But they could only pay what comes in, and no one's going to pay eight hundred thousand dollars for a ticket, no matter how good Hamlet is. So, or Hamilton, mm. whatever the flip the thing is. <laughs> Bless God. So we're going to go right to number one because we're going to do the top five. Okay. So first off, this shocked me. Number <laughs> one was Sofia Verga- Ver- Vergara. Vergara. That's right. For Modern Family. Yes. I will just say, it doesn't shock me because she's smart. Well, it these are the five because, women. Well, these are the top five off the list yeah. from Complex.com. It doesn't shock me because she's a smart woman. Like, right. she markets she's like crazy. Yeah. The head and shoulders commercials. Like, she's doing her thing. Because she is banking on the success of Modern Family, her looks. And the fact that, you know, you you don't only got so much time. Yeah. So let's set aside. It's just like um, Sofia Vergara knows exactly what she's doing. She's been top earning actress in TV for six years. And it's because of her businesswoman mindset. Aside from her $1 million per episode salary of Modern Family, she got licensing deals, 
Room Sigo, Avon, Shock Ninja, and Pepsi, CoverGirl, and Head & Shoulders. Woo! So they're paying her. Everything this woman drinks and uses <laughs> is a, is an episode of something. Yeah. Like, she's around her, her house. Like, what else are we going to do? Well, I sit on a couch. We could sell a couch commercial. Oh. The Sophia couch. Then we got um, Jim Parsons at twenty seven five. Twenty seven point five million dollars for a 50-something-year-old playing a 20-something-year-old on TV. Blizz, go. He's that old? Yeah, he's old. Wow. That's because, wow. as Chris Rock said, money is lotion. Yeah. Man, you looking young because you got more of that money. Go ahead. Since he earns most of the money from the Big Bang. He he earns the most out of the Big Bang theory co-stars due in large part to his side projects. Yes. He produces and narrates Young Sheldon, a CBS spinoff. Which is smart, which means he'll still be working this season. Yep. And then he has his um, few gigs with Sirius Radio. Plus, Not you hear bad. him on, like, the Dell commercials yes. and stuff. So. And he's also on Broadway right now. Yeah, so he's, he's doing his thing, too. We got number three, Mr. Johnny Galecki at 26.5. There you go. And his castmates on the list make $1 million per episode, 24-episode season, plus a, cl- a cut of the show's profit. There you go. So he got it on the back end, CBS. yes. Which is why they have a final season now, though, because that's too much. You can't be paying these people almost $4 million in salaries, plus can the cut. That's why CBS is looking at the the numbers like, man, this will be the last thing. Kaylee Cuoco, same thing, $26 million, Right. Um, as a woman's second highest salary in the business in her male-dominated show, Kaylee is not dismissed. Forbes estimates that she earns $26 million. Which is pretty impressive. Yes, it is. Um, especially compared to her other, you know, the other castmates or female castmates on the show. Right. Mario and then and all that. Simon Helberg, oh, he yeah. also is bringing in some money. He's bringing in the same as Kaylee, 26. Woo! Which, and if I was sorry, I'd show, get a little bit more. Yeah, the top five were all the Big Bang Except theory. for Sophia. Sophia. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Sophia and then everybody else had a Big Bang Theory. <laughs> And, you know, she's like, listen, I'm going to just do everything bang. It's going on. I'm a bang ninja. I'm a bang uh, the drinks. I'm a bang Pepsi. I'm banging everything. I'm going to be like, I love Sofia. And I'm done. And I liked it. She, when she was on Ellen, she talked about why her accent is still thick. She goes, it's for comedy. She goes, it's funnier when I say, oh, Jay, you don't so make any sense like that. She goes, if I say, hey, Jay, that doesn't make any sense. It's not as funny. So a woman knows how to use her Columbia heritage to make us a $20 million. She's like Rosie Perez. Yes, she when is. When you hear Rosie, you know right. Rosie. You know that's her on the <laughs> episode right there. So every every Colombian woman, look at this. All you got to do to make $27 million is just, you know, drink Pepsi. This is the Diva Mike Show. Dear Church, we are severely underselling Jesus' work on the cross and the miracle of the resurrection. We love to talk about his birth, his ministry here on the earth, but whenever it comes to his death, when all the breath was gone from his chest and he was left lying motionless as his mother wept, we kind of like to skip over this text. And because of that, we fail to realize what his resurrection actually meant, what it signifies for us today, for you right now. That it is through his resurrection we know that life is stronger than death, Love is stronger than hatred, hope is stronger than despair. We know the promise of eternal life is available to any of those who dare to cast away their burdens and cares and submit themselves to the one who none can compare. We know the resurrection fully renewed the relationship between you and your creator. That when the temple veil was ripped like a single piece of paper, the connection was restored between creation and its Lord. And not because of anything that we have done, It is all because of the death of his son. Because if Jesus hadn't died in our place, then we could never enter the pearly gates. We would never look upon his face. We would never have experienced the sweet, sweet taste of his love. You see, man couldn't fulfill the debt of sin. And God couldn't relate to fallen men. So Jesus had to pay the price that we couldn't. He had to live the life that we wouldn't. Upon that wooden cross, he died when he shouldn't, because it should have been you and me. Jesus took the burden away from every single person of having to perform to show that they're worthy. We can now know for certain that our future was determined on that cross. You see, we belonged on that cross, not him. We should have hung from that cross, not him. We deserve to be beaten and bruised, but not him, because we have all rejected the truth. 
cross is so important. That is why Easter shouldn't be ignored. Because whenever that stone rolled away, whenever Jesus walked out of that grave, he made it so that we would no longer be enslaved. So all of our sins had been weighed and have been placed upon that cross. Upon that beautiful, beautiful cross. So during this Easter time, I ask that you reflect on the gift that we have all been given. Don't just go to church to fulfill a family tradition, but actively celebrate in the fact that He has risen, in the fact that we have all been forgiven, because what was meant for death brought life. I just don't want to start talking. You just want to hear the... Just listen to it. All right, this is the finale week. So next week, we've got some changes and some awesomeness for y'all. Because there's going to be some updates to music, to commercials, to... Dare I say it? A theme song? What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Whatever. Because I was originally going to ask Michael Jackson... To do our theme song, because mm-hmm. at this point we'd be, you know, in the ratings, but uh, he had propofol issues. Uh, so there's <laughs> that. So it was uh, it was like a thriller in the night. I oh, can't even do it. He said propofol issues. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, so our, it's time for our uh, scripture of the day. Mushakala. Woo, what that deep? That was deep, folks. Cut you right in. Yeah, it was a whoo. Felt like a, I was going to meet an alien. Okay. We're going to look at Joshua chapter 1, verse uh, 7 and 8. All right. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Wow. Prosperous and successful. And if you've been listening to Money Mondays this past year, and and you've implemented it in your life, you're doing the baby steps. You're being on purpose on fire. You're doing your uh, monthly cash flow on purpose on paper before the month begins. That's Live right. God. And you're seeing that it sucks. I'm sorry, it does. It sucks. You see <laughs> things you can buy and want to buy, and every day there's a new thing that's awesome and great and shiny and plays in reverse. You know, and <laughs> you're like it's only five payments of ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine. You know, that's not so bad. You know, so I digress. So you you see that part of it sucks because the Bible does say discipline doesn't seem fruitful or good at the time, pleasant at the time, but in the end yields a harvest of great glory mm. and holiness and righteousness. Woo! Right. I mean, when the end. When I'm walking up to my paid-for car, driving to my paid-for house, getting ready to go on my paid-for vacation for the fourth time this year, I ain't going to remember that I couldn't buy a new phone, as cool as the XRS 80 is, or whatever the Apple thing is every single (laughs) flipping year. But there is, I wanted to leave you this year, this season, with motivation. Because I'm very heavy on the, you got to get this done. And you're seeing the, the struggle part. All year, you heard the struggle part. We talked about finance. talked about how to struggle on your income. How to g- cut everything out of your life that's fun so you can pay off that debt. And it's challenging. So I want you to hear the end result of what happens when you make the sacrifice early, quick, like a band-aid. Right, just rip it off. Just you know, I, Honey, we're just going to rip it off. And here it is. 
of Ramsey Solutions, however, on better news, is Tyler and Bree. Hey, guys, how are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Where do you guys live? We're from Iowa, central Iowa. Cool. What part? Uh, Marshalltown. Yeah, good. And that's the Des Moines area, right? Uh, about an hour, yep. Okay, yep. cool. Well, welcome to Nashville, and you're here all the way down here to do a debt-free scream. Yeah. How much have you paid off? Um, it's technically, we, we paid off our house, which was $52,000. What? Yep. <laughs> I'm looking at weird people. You two aren't old enough to have a paid-for house. <laughs> that's right. How old are you guys? I'm 21. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm 24. No! This is awesome! <laughs> uh, some people that are listening to this might not know that we were even on it. We we don't share a ton about kind of our finances, but we've been on the plan. People close to us know we've been on the plan. And, um, I mean, I, I guess we've got a lot of motivation from this show. We've gone to some live events, books, whatever. Um, wow. Which live event did you go to? Uh, we went out to Denver a couple of years ago yep. for okay. the Smart Conference. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow, the whole smart. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah it was cool. Was that was fun. Cool. Yeah, you come out of there like on rocky steroids, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, those smart conferences are amazing. Mm -hmm. And at your age going in, I mean, your marriage and, and everything. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> you are awesome. Uh, your future's so bright. It's unbelievable. So it's Tyler and Bree, 21 and 24, their house and everything is paid for. Household <laughs> income of 105. Count it down. Let's hear it. A debt free scream! Ready? Okay. One, two, three. three. We're debt free! <laughs> They're debt free! That's awesome. They're awesome. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. As always, subscribe on iTunes and Google Play. Oh, we're on Spotify. Be sure to rate us. I'm EG Mike 84 on Twitter. He is TiVo Mike on Instagram. Our show, the TiVo Mike Show, is on Facebook. Follow us, favorite us, retweet us, guys. Listen, we're here for you. Season 2 in the bag. <laughs>